2020, those numbers have a double meaning. And this year, all the more poignant. Would anything have prepared us for what we know now? I have been working for 40 years and I have never had a year like this. But as I look back, I can see we were never more ready for it. CBC has embarked on an ambitious journey to modernize our operations, to provide the digital transformation needed to ensure we can meet the needs of staff, as well as our stakeholders and public that we interact with. Little did I know that that ambitious plan would literally save CBC. By November 2019, all staff had received their laptops and software, allowing them to work anywhere, which they did come March, and seamlessly. Those tools allowed us to keep working with our partners to launch online education tools for teachers and exhausted parents, to continue to reach out into our communities to get their input into our plans and strategies, and to allow our staff to work effectively to continue planning files and issue permits. A big thank you goes out to our information technology team for helping us stay safe and productive. So we've known for some time that our conservation areas have become increasingly popular, but little did we know that 2020 would be the year that the entire GTA showed us their love. People came out in droves, but overwhelmed our capacity. Staff put on a brave face, but soon we had to pause, rethink, and retool before being able to reopen in May with a different way of doing business in the face of the pandemic. Our park staff came back to work wanting to provide opportunities for our residents to have somewhere to go, to recreate safely and locally. And they worked really hard all summer and even extending our season into November to provide more opportunities. They have been our frontline workers and I wanna thank them personally and on behalf of all the residents that had somewhere to get away from it all this year. We kept so many projects going this year, despite the challenges of our staff working with children on their laps or cats on their keyboards. While it's been a long time since my children were young, I can only imagine trying to juggle childcare, schedules with partners, poor broadband, and keeping your work rolling and your income stable. You have been patient, you've been good humored, you've been creative and oh so productive. In summer, our CBC vehicles were seen out and about across the watershed as field staff restarted monitoring programs, landowner outreach, tree planting, and other restoration activities. They had to do things differently, but they got the work done safely and they kept moving the yardstick on watershed management. And as a fitting end to the year, we were very proud to have been named one of the Greater Toronto's top employers as a companion to being named one of Canada's greenest employers earlier the year. It reflects our commitment to our employees and to the environment. The silver lining of this pandemic for CVC is that it has united us all around problem solving, innovation, and execution. I'm so proud of how well all of CVC transitioned to our new way of working. I hope the lessons we've learned from our COVID experience stay with us. We can work differently and we can change rapidly and we should never take for granted our green space, our health or our families. However you celebrate the season, I wish everyone a safe and relaxing holiday. I know it will be different this year, but we look forward to getting back to our new normal as soon as we can in the new year. So stay safe everyone.